So you want to main Ares, the god of war. First, ask yourself, why do you want to main Ares? For his support, he does a ton of damage. Great for baiting, great for team fights. he's just pretty darn scary. Ares is a Greek guardian. Smite has classified him as an easy god. I find him... depending. I do find his kit pretty easy, but there are so many things that are not noticed and with Ares, you can't just run in there like guardians, such as Ganesh or Fafnir. Let's get into his abilities. Ares passive, blessed, presence. Each completed aura item that Ares owns grants him 30 additional magical power. Now this passive is great for the current support build meta, we generally always build aura items on supports. Ares first ability, Shackles. Ares 1 is a projectile ability type. Hitting a god with his chain cripples the enemy, prevents movement ability so they can't escape, dealing damage every second, shackles enemies up to 3 times or 3 different enemies every 2 seconds if landed, slowing them up to 50% per unique shackle and can be used through walls. Now this is a loaded ability. It can also buff his second ability which we will get into. This ability has great damage, amazing for chasing enemies by the slow and the cripple and it can also bait out their actives. Ares second ability bolster defenses. Ares 2 is a buff ability type. It applies to all nearby allies and himself. The buff grants protections and reduces crowd control durations. Now the cool thing here with Ares 1 and 2 is that for every shackled enemy, the protection buffs are increased. So 1 shackle per enemy. As for CC reduction, it only affects crowd control applied after activation. This ability is great to pop before fights and I suggest to use it whenever you're in a fight as well. Ares 3rd ability, Searing Flesh. Ares 3 is a cone ability type. He pours flames from his shield causing damage every 0.5 seconds for 4 seconds. During the ability, Ares is immune to knockbacks. This ability is great paired up with his 1, Shackles. It's also good to help with clear and great for zoning out an enemy. Ares ultimate, No Escape. Ares 4 is an area ability type. All enemies hit by the chains are pulled to Ares after 2.5 seconds, taking damage and are stunned. Ares is immune to crowd control during this ability. This ability is great for setting up team fights and baiting out actives and even enemy ultimates. Generally ultimate is heavily countered but don't let that get you down. Like I said, it's awesome for baiting and extremely good for zoning. For leveling abilities, it's pretty easy to remember. I personally go with first ability, shackles for cripple effects, chase and damage. Second ability, bolster for protection buffs and CC reduction. The third ability, searing flesh works very well with his one. And the ultimate last as the only stat that increases is the damage, stun duration stays the same. So basically, I put one point into the three for help with clear and zoning during laning phase. And then after that, I will go one, two, three, four. Now let's get into the combos for Ares. Ares combos are pretty straightforward. For actives, I'd say the best active for Ares is Blink and Heavenly Wings, but the second active always depends on enemy team comp as well. Blink is vital for his combo because enemies generally will move out of the way around Ares. That's how well he zones. You can blame his ultimate. His combos are 2, 1, 3, 1 and 3. This will be your most used combo. Blink, 4, 2, 1, 3, 2, Blink, 4, 1, 3. Or if you want to secure a kill that's a bit far, you can also Blink, 1 and 3. If you're absolutely new to Ares, I would practice the combos without the blink first until you feel comfortable with using his combos. I would also like to note that while his 2 is very useful, it does let the enemy know that you're about to initiate. Also, with his 2, try to use it every time it's off cooldown during fights. Now let's get into the builds. Please remember that with supports, you have to adjust accordingly to the enemy, so I can't say there is a straightforward build for Ares. Of course, aura items work very well with him due to his passive and the current support building meta are aura items. I analyze common builds for Ares by what pros are using and these are what I found most commonly used by pros. Guardian's Blessing, CDR Boots, Stone of Binding, Gauntlet of Thebes, Sovereignty, Magi's Cloak, Spirit Robe, Gem of Isolation and Void Stone. A very common start seems to be Guardian's Blessing, CDR Boots, Stone of Binding, and sovereignty. And from there, it would be very situational. 
taking note with anti-heals and other aura items that will benefit your team as such as pestilence. Like I said, it really depends on what you're up against. The counters and what not to do. Aries is heavenly countered by beads and magi's cloak, so it's also good to take note which of the enemies have either of those. Enemies will also usually build against his ultimate, which is why I suggest using Ares as a beta. Enemies will also sometimes use their ultimates, if it has CC immunity, to avoid getting pulled in by Ares. Ares has no mobility whatsoever, so it's pretty hard to get out of fights. So make sure you communicate with your team effectively so they can do the damage while you take the damage. If your ultimate is ready and you're going to blink in or use it, make sure your allies know. It's super important that they're ready for potential pulls. And that is all for the Aries guide. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Feel free to subscribe and click the bell if you found this helpful. I'll be making one for every guide. Any comments and likes would be super rad. I hope to see you for the next one. Bye!